Hey guys, what's up? My name is Johannes Granroth, but you can call me Jojo. So the time has finally come for me to give you my thoughts on this beautiful guitar, which I've been using as my main guitar for about two years. I've had it on probably over 50 gigs. So it's safe to say that I've gotten to know this guitar pretty well. <laughs> First off, it's a really great guitar, otherwise I wouldn't have used it so much. It's pretty easy to get a good setup on it, you know, fairly low action without any noticeable string buzz. The neck is really thin, but it feels great. One thing that you can expect after using it for a while is that the matte finish, which looks and feels really great, especially on the neck, will wear out and become more glossy. Your hand might not slide as well as, as it does at first. But it's no big problem, you know, because the wood seems pretty soft, it, it might get dings pretty easily, so be careful, you know. It, it, it's probably not gonna take as much beating as maybe a strap with a hard lacquer finish or something like that. <laughs> So I love almost everything about this guitar, it has just the features I want, 24 frets, 2 humbuckers with coil split, and you know, maybe the main reason why I bought this guitar and not some other Chapman guitars is because the headstock is not their usual reverse headstock, which I'm not a big fan of. There are a few small modifications that I've done to this guitar since I got it. One thing is the pickup selector knob, which I switched out to a regular teardrop shaped one because it came with a Telecaster style one that looks like a Lego person's head kinda. I didn't like how it looks and it also was pretty impractical because when I would switch pickups in a hurry it would sometimes come loose and fly across the floor. modified some things in the electronics without replacing any parts, I just switched some things around. I realized that when you coil split to get a single coil sound, on the neck pickup it would use the coil closer to the bridge rather than the one closer to the neck. And I didn't really like that because I was looking for that kind of strat single coil neck pickup sound. So instead of messing with any wires, all I did was I flipped the pickup around, took off the strings, you know, screwed it out and just flipped it. And now the coil that is being used is closer to the bridge when I call split. So the sound is actually closer to a Strat neck pickup sound. And you can see it on the guitar because the anchor logos on the pickups are in the opposite directions. <laughs> thing about this guitar was the tone knob. It wouldn't do anything for like 90% of the movement and then the last 10% would cut everything really quickly. And that had to do with the fact that the tone knob was the one with the push-pull function for the coil split. Which also didn't make sense to me because oftentimes when you coil split you'll notice a difference in the volume and you'll have to adjust the volume at the same time. What I did was I switched the pots around which fixed two problems. One, now the volume knob is the one with the push-pull and it's closer and more accessible and now the tone knob works a lot better and it's a smoother taper. Other than that, I've been really happy with this guitar. I have no problems. Of course you gotta adjust the truss rod every once in a while here in Finland at least where the weather changes a lot during the year. All in all, this guitar has served me really well, especially with the modifications, it does things just the way I want. And even without them, it's very versatile and reliable, stays in tune really well, and it looks great. So I can recommend this guitar to probably most players, unless you need a whammy bar. It's been worth the money for sure, although the price has gone up a bit since I bought it two years ago for 720 euros, I think. <laughs> So I think that's about it for this video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!